Welcome to Katie Did Reviews. This isn't going to be a review. This is going to be focusing on one of my favorite comic book characters, Captain Marvel or Carol Danvers. There may be some new people to comics that are curious about Carol Danvers and would like to know some of the history and what issues to try to find to see her new run of Captain Marvel. Now, before 2012, Carol Danvers was known by her superhero name, Miss Marvel. But in 2012, she got an upgraded name and an upgraded suit, as you can see here. But this is not the first picture of her new suit that would have been in a comic book. The very first issue that featured the new suit and the new name is Avenging Spider-Man number 9, and this was a two-part series, of, so Avenging Spider-Man number 9 and Avenging Spider-Man number 10, and these would have come out before Kelly Sue DeConnick's Captain Marvel 2013 run. The first trade paperback book that you can get that is the official Captain Marvel and Carol Danvers one is Captain Marvel in Pursuit of Flight, written by Kelly Sue DeConnick, with Soy and Reese as the artists in it. And this is going to be collecting Captain Marvel 1 through 6. And it will tell the story of her changing her name and the offense that led to her changing her name and kind of building up to another, to the finishing arc of the series. Then the second trade paperback book that is collected is Captain Marvel and Down, and this is also written by Kelly Sue DeConnick with art by Soy and Andre and Seaborn. And this will collect number 7 through 12 of the Captain Marvel one. Then the next trade paperback that you would be looking for is not actually a Captain Marvel. To finish up this arc of stories, you would need Captain Marvel would be heavily featured in Avengers, The Enemy Within. And this will be collecting Avengers, The Enemy Within, number one, Avengers Assemble, 16 through 17, and Captain Marvel, 13 and 14 and 17. This series will be read in the way that the book gives it to you. Um, you'll notice that 15 and 16 of the Captain Marvel run were not listed there. You don't actually need them to get the complete story. 15 and 16 are both going to be in the Infinity book and feature into the Infinity storyline, so they don't add anything to the, in, the enemy within arc. So you will not need those. Avengers finished up the first run of the Captain Marvel, written by Kelly Sue DeConnick, and then in 2013, they decided to start another Captain Marvel one, which would be Higher, Further, Faster, Moon, Captain Marvel. And this is also written by Kelly Sue DeConnick with David Lopez as the artist. So if you are unable to get a hold of the other ones, you can just start with this one, and it is going to feature 1 through 6 of Captain Marvel, 2013 one. Now the trade for that has not come out. The second trade for that has not come out at this time. It will be coming out later, but I do have the next issues in single format, which will be Captain Marvel number 7. Captain Marvel number eight. And these two will be a two part short story. So you could just buy those two and read them. And so this would be a jumping on point. 
Number eight is a jumping, number seven is a jumping on point. This would be a jumping on point if you were wanting to go to your local comic book store right now and pick something up. And then number nine is a sh could be used as a jumping on point. I probably wouldn't do that. And then just recently, and the reason I made this video is Captain Marvel number 10 is going to be Captain Marvel's 100th solo adventure from her Miss Marvel days to her Captain Marvel. So it's really Carol Danvers' 100th issue. But big props to her for getting to 100 for all of the canceled titles that she had and short story six issue ones that she would have. And this could be one read without reading any of the others. So go and pick this one up and see if you feel like reading it. And then there will be another issue that will tie into it released next month. So that gives you a basic understanding of Captain Marvel and maybe will tell you what you're missing from your collection or what you would like to start with. Thank you for watching.